Council, what's the state of your personal economy? Oh, that's why it's difficult. To, <laughs> why? Extremely oh. difficult. Because as I told you, the prices of food items, etc., have been going up, right? You remember earlier in July, I brought uh, a tube of yam. <laughs> yes. Of course, now it's come down because there is, we are in the uh, harvest season, season right? Yeah. But see how we're buffeted from about um, February to about end of uh, July. So those were very difficult months. And then in August, we started getting some of the uh, yam. And earlier on today, you heard me refer to the incomes. There is a statistic. You know that even in the public service, majority of the workers, when you talk about the they, they pay, it's not beyond 3,500. Mm. That's a huge number. <coughs> okay? yes. That don't end that. And I showed how if you have lunch for 30 cities alone, or actually it was 31 cities, the watch I bought, then in a month, you'll be spending 930 Ghana cities on lunch. You haven't <laughs> talked about breakfast. So if your income is 3,000 Ghana cities, I mean, yeah, somebody will say that, and then you shouldn't have lunch for the 31 Ghana. So the more you reduce it, then the more you are getting what? Malnourished. So you see why food insecurity is such a huge problem. And look at the millions of citizens who earn less than 3,000 Ghana cities a day. I'm sorry, a month. So, public so, sector so, workers. Yes. Yeah. It's a big problem. 80% of public sector workers yes. earn less, earn less about, than 3,000. Less than yes. 3,000. Yeah. Yeah. Less yeah, than that's 3, a statistic. Yet, yeah. you see, in 2016, so you see my cocoa. <laughs> and this cocoa. Last week you brought the uh, five, and fish. Five Ghana cities. That's the cocoa itself. And then if you add the milk, uh, this thing, it comes up to eight cities. Then you see the uh, this and bread. Mm. Yeah, the kose is what? Two cities for each one. Mm. So if you buy three kose, so that's six cities. And then this one, eight cities. 14 Ghana cities for breakfast. Yeah, 14 Ghana cities. So you are asking people not to eat breakfast. So you heard why some jobs. So the said bread is what? The bread is five cities. And you put kose inside. Yes. So you see why Sam just said a lot of millions of our citizens do zero zero one. Yeah, no breakfast, no lunch, then you have dinner. So this cocoa is how much? So this one, that's cocoa, five cities. The cocoa is five And then cities. because the milk is in eight cities. So with our milk, it's five cities. I see. Five. But others are selling the cocoa without sugar. Yes. Mm. So uh -huh. if you want sugar, sugar, the price may... Okay, can you imagine? Can you imagine? So you starve citizens because me, I keep telling you that, look, Professor Bob King, I mean, I've known him for, for decades. Those days, the little that I learned in school, uh, business school with him, right? Mm -hmm. They tell you that this our economy, we need to stop the import dependency. If you didn't start from university, I did a bit of economics in secondary school. That's the thing. Even from JHS, it's there. Mm -hmm. If you ask them to bring the textbook, they will tell you that the bane of this economy is that we import too much. Even food, we can't cultivate enough to feed ourselves. So right from JHS, we are taught food insecurity. And it didn't start today. Mm -hmm. Then you come to SS, the same thing. Then you come to uni, right? Mm -hmm. So the thing is that when in 2016, Ekufuado said, in 18 months, he's going to stop that structure so that we are going to have what? More poultry, more rice, right? More tomatoes. We import tomatoes no, we from the, water. The, 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 the Gadgetsburg Gadgetsburg economy. economy. Mm. We import tomatoes from Burkina Faso, for crying out loud. Yeah. Burkina Faso. A ha. desert country. I can imagine. Mm. They import uh, onion from what? Niger. Niger. Yeah. Onion and then what? Uh, the other one, ginger. Kind of embarrassment. So the moment he said 18 months, he will change the structure of the economy. I believed him because I thought that we should be serious with agriculture. Now, does it strike you that for eight years, neither Ekufuado nor Baumia have even shown their personal farms? Personal farms. I'm doing a bit of pigry. So at least I have my hands in there. Mm -hmm. Myself and lawyer Jin. Okay, the younger Jin, not the old man crazy. Okay. Okay, we've been doing pigry for about five years now. So at least. I can show that I'm doing something. Ask a Kufuado, does he have a fan? Has he ever shown a fan? <laughs> Leadership by example. And that's how come when it comes to Kofi Adam's uh, candidate, John Mama. At least I remember in 2015 or 16, he spent his birthday on his farm somewhere in the uh, central region. Yeah, so when he comes back, 
He has, he has to do that. Month. Please be louder. He has JM has he farms. He has farms in Greater Accra. Uh -huh. He has farms in Central. He has farms in Savannah. He has in Northern Region. Bono. He has in Upper East. He has in Bono. So he's really someone who practically Thank goes you. into. Ask the Kufuado which farm in eight years, which farm has he exhibited? So you see that it's laziness. The man has been sleeping on the job. This guy doesn't have the skill set. It's a scam. That we give you common agriculture, common farming, we can't farm. And then you say you want to be president. We said eight years. Eight years, it's useless. So the personal economy is terrible. Look, I have uncles, I have cousins. Every day you open your phone, well wishes. People need money. We are suffering. This thing has to stop. So, Honorable okay. Kofi Adams, if you guys come this time round, listen, it won't be business as usual. It won't be because we told you Fadu was the last uh, this is stop. We thought he could deliver here and bow me out, bow me out there. Cha 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 cha. Oh, 18 months. They'll change the gadgets back economy. He hasn't started. If you come, please, from day one, all of you, you should do operation feed yourself. Each one of you, ministers, parliamentarians, you have to exhibit your farms. Then perhaps the unemployed youth would also be encouraged to go into agriculture. Because it appears because we don't show, you know, a lot of big people are not in this current parliament, lots of the parliamentarians fan. Yeah, Apia Kubi said it. Yeah. Um, Mutala Mohammed. Kando, Kofi Kando is farming. Uh -huh. Seriously. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, you have. Uh, well, oh, please, let me give you more examples. I'm very sorry. I'm not farming. Uh, me, I'm farming. My father has a cocoa farm, but <laughs> I don't need to go to. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm the only uh -huh. exception here. Uh -huh. You <laughs> see, so we need to do it leadership by example. If okay. more of us get in there then they use those who are unemployed you see that okay we shouldn't disrespect farming because the cocoa farmers at least they make a living right mm -hmm. so that we can do something because every time i look at him, i'm like ah so baumia for all these eight years he didn't know that he should bring up his farm the media should see him go to the farm of course i'm not expecting that he'll be working there five days a week no but maybe once a month he goes there with the media then you, you broadcast it so they, you see that, oh, even the vice president has a farm. They, they are so, very busy so, buying what? So, expensive so, so, uh, handbags. Yes, as you said. Expensive it. handbags. Uh, That's how Mrs. Kalmia is engaging. 